Well, here's the continuation. I had to do a continuation in order for the first video not to be too long. And um, the first video, my voice was a little bit raspy. You know, I still had like my partial morning voice, you know, um, this uh, this quarantine has kind of thrown my sleeping hours off. But that's another story. But one thing I wanted to bring up in this uh, in this continuation was. Let's put this from the Matrix perspective. Yeah, like literally the movie. What was the one thing that these Mr. Smiths could do? Well, the thing that the Mr. Smith could do was if he touched you, you became just like him. And basically, you're just another clone in the Matrix, per se. And uh, if you ask me, there's been a lot of songs lately that I've heard these females, mind you, not women, but these females have came out with where they talked about this idea of where they liked to take on a male's poison, mind you, not a man, but a male. She wanted that male's poison. Like, and I've, and I've heard so many songs like this where females preferred to deal with a male. She wanted his poison. They, they prefer that. They prefer this whole matrix type of a life. What I call blue pill toxicity. I mean, uh, of course, I've heard this term blue pill toxicity before. I'm just saying, um, just me saying it for the first time here at this channel. Um, that's a lot of them want that blue pill toxicity uh, to really be outside the matrix per se, to take your life a step further. That's an interesting undertaking, but it takes a special person to realize this is the undertaking they must take. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of women that represent that specialness about her because there's not a lot of women. There's more females. And these females, they don't they don't differentiate specialties or what is special, you know. Um, yeah, they want to be treated special. That's basically them thinking very selfishly. So uh, ironically, the Neo versus the Mr. Smith, he's trying to show special attention to her for a special purpose in his life. But they don't want that. OK, they rather just have someone. Treat them special from the standpoint of being put on a pedestal to be idolized, to be worshipped, to be to where more or less they are the focal point. They'll say things like, well, it's all about you. See, fellas, when you hear someone say that, the initial thing and the natural thing for you to think with your male nature is, oh, sweetie, I'm not trying to be selfish like that. I don't want you to think about it that way with me. But actually... That goes against another part of your male nature, which is for you to represent a godly figure, to represent a leadership type of a individual, to represent someone that has vision. Yes, this is going to be about you and that she's your help me, that your life actually benefits her life. Your life benefits her life. So she feels like a lot of her purpose is to be a part of your life. But unfortunately, these females don't think that way. It's funny. She doesn't want to be a part of your life, but she'd rather be a part of that guy's poison. You know what I'm saying? You as Neo, she don't want to be a part of your vision, but him as Mr. Smith, she wants to be a part of his poison. You got the potion, but she prefers the poison. You know, so a lot of their talking points of why she may want some space for uh, why she may want some uh, some space from you, brother. A lot of times she wants that space from you because she actually wants to get away from you when she says that. You know what I'm saying? She 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 don't want no space from you. She she trying to get away from you. Before you can even think about, well, I'm going to walk away from her, you know. <laughs> a lot of them want to make the first move, whether it is to give up or whether it is for them to have some type of advantage over you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A lot of them want to make that type of move. Uh, they don't see you as something they desire in this life. You know what I'm saying? They want that matrix 
life. They don't want to be outside the matrix, you know, and uh, that just ties in with this continuation because uh, for them to want better, it's going to require them to be not the same type of person that they've been, you know, with a lot of these females. They're going to have to step it up, I guess. But ironically, you give her the steps to step up to, but she's not trying to step up to that. You know what I'm saying? You're showing her all these better ways of how to live life, but she doesn't want a part of that. She is used to what she's used to, her familiarities. Some people call this familiar spirits, which represents soul ties and soul mates. Now, of course, I don't believe in the perfect soul mate, but this does not mean that I do not believe in soul mates. But you ask the average feminine gender out here, these females who have not reached womanhood, basically their answers will result in, I've known of more soul ties than actual soul mates. She doesn't want the soul mate. She still would rather keep her soul ties and it shows in the way that she continues to live her life and the way that she treats you. She's supposed to cut her ties in order to mate with you with all of her soul. But she'd rather keep her soul tied to the past ties. See, getting out the matrix is cutting ties. To all these things. And they don't want to do that man. So don't think that she's actually trying to get a better man. There's no such thing as I just said in the previous video. She's actually going to run into a worse man. <laughs> she's going to run into a worse man. Not a better man. And she's going to become just like him in this matrix. Signing out.